A recurring task is a task that occurs over and over again at regular intervals over the course of the project. For example, I want to insert a recurring task, like for my project status meetings, that happens like every other Tuesday. So to go ahead and insert that recurring task, let's say above my research phase, I'll go ahead and select that task, then come up here on the task tab to the insert group, click on the task drop down arrow, and there it is. Click on recurring task, let's go ahead and type in the task name, project status meeting, and then the duration for the meetings, ugh, one day, no way. Let's go ahead and do uh, hours, type in 2H for two hours, and then I can have that happen daily, every day, or every two days, three days, or weekly, or every other week, every two weeks, like I wanted. And it will be every other Tuesday, so go ahead and check that. And then for the range of reoccurrence, it'll start on the project start date, which is August the 31st, I'm fine with that. And then end after maybe four meetings, five meetings, six meetings, or we can have it end by a certain date. Let's go ahead and click on the drop down arrow. And the last meeting will be the 9th, so I can select any time after that. Maybe we can go ahead and do the uh, 15th, that's fine. And then the calendar for scheduling this task, if you leave it as none, it will be based on the standard. But since I already have my project calendar, let me assign it to my Spiffy project calendar. And if my uh, resources or managers can't make it because they're on site um, overseeing some of these tasks, well, that's just the way it goes. More donuts for me. In any case, it brings up a good point. You can have another calendar for your resources, like a manager's calendar that you can then set the recurring task to be assigned to so it works with their times that the managers are available. In fact, there are three types of calendars. There's the project calendar, as we learned in an earlier training video, and we created our project calendar based upon the standard called the Spiffy calendar. And then you have a resource calendar, which we'll cover in the next training video, but in short, resources always take precedence over the project calendar because, you know, when you're working on a task here, proofread, if the resource is on vacation, guess what? You can't force the resource in here, so the resource calendar takes precedence over the project calendar. I mean, if your resources are always going to be there and you don't have any time conflicts, then I guess you don't need resource calendars. But like I said, we'll cover that in the next training video. And then you can actually have task calendars, which task calendars override both project and resource calendars. Now, as far as a task calendar goes, if you really need one, all you have to do is go ahead and create a basic calendar. As we learned in an earlier training video, we created the calendar here and called it the Spiffy calendar and assigned it to the uh, project. You can go ahead and create another calendar and assign it to the task. So let me go ahead and uh, click OK. And when you create the calendar to assign it to a task, you can double click on the task, come up here, click on the Advanced tab, and go ahead and change it from None to that task calendar. If that task has something that it needs to adhere to and the reason why you're creating that task calendar. But I digress. That's getting ahead of myself. Let's click Cancel and to know that we created a recurring task. And there it is, Project Status Meetings. You got the little plus sign because it happens more than once. Click on it to expand it. There's the first meeting, the second, third, every two hour duration. And you can see up here, you've got these little tick marks because, well, it's actually a bar, but I haven't zoomed in to see it stretched out like these other bars are because those are days. Uh, this is a couple of hours. And you see the tick mark above and the tick mark below? doesn't mean that you have more meetings, it just means that for the task summary, this is when they occur, and this is the corresponding meeting that will occur um, underneath that summary. So it's just a reflection that you can see down below. So there's meeting one, it's up above in the uh, summary, meeting two in the summary, meeting three in the summary, and so on. Okay, and it should end, there we go, after six meetings. In fact, if I go ahead and scroll over here, the last meeting is Tuesday, November the 9th here. We start that day, Go for two hours, we finish the same day. Let me go ahead and scroll back. In fact, instead of scrolling over, if you'd like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. If I want to get back to the first meeting, you can either right click on the task and go down to scroll to task and it'll take you right back to it. You can do it that way. Right clicking is a lot faster than, well, selecting another task and coming up here from the task tab to the editing group and click on scroll to task to take you right to that to date that the task is scheduled on. And then if we don't want to see all these uh, subtasks to the summary task, like we learned in an earlier training video, you can click on the plus sign to collapse it. But before you do, you can hover over these icons in the indicator column to get more information. This task has a start no earlier than constraint on Tuesday, September the 28th. And the calendar, Spiffy calendar, is assigned to the task. So recurring, it's set. It's not linked 
to the other task because I haven't linked them. This is something outside of the uh, link where I have to wait for the meeting to happen before I can go to the next task. Uh, that's not going to work for me. We can right click and scroll to the task back at the beginning. So starts and it goes right down to the first task. So the meetings during the project, if they're available, great. If not, then they're busy. Oh well, the meetings will continue to go on and they won't affect because they're not related to the other task, whether one task is completed to go to the next. The meetings will happen. You can see over here in the indicator column for the first one, the summary tells you the task occurs six times. It's got the arrows uh, turning in on itself to know that it's circling, it's uh, recurring, happening over and over again, well, up to six times. And then I can go ahead and click on the uh, minus sign to collapse it, and then just focus on what I see over here in the Gantt chart without uh, seeing double here for the task and the task summary of those meetings. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.